Hello, fellow rosarians. I want to talk to you today about protecting your potted roses. And it really goes for protecting any plant that you want to winter over. So the first thing that we need to think about is when do we do it? When do we start thinking about this? It's September and I'm only thinking about it right now because where I live, they run out of mulch bags, which I'm going to talk to you about in a second. That's one of the things that I use for my insulation. We are going to start planning. Where are we going to put these pots? How are we going to insulate them? And we don't start this insulation process until closer to when they go to dormancy. They will go into dormancy about, um, for me, November, December. As soon as that we have that first frost, so know your frost date. As soon as we have that first frost, they're going to start dropping their leaves. They're going to stop pushing growth. You'll know that your plant is dormant and that's the time to start thinking about protecting everybody. What do I do? If I have plants that are directly planted into terracotta or ceramic, I'm going to want to, once they're dormant, repot those plants because terracotta and ceramic are going to crack most likely um, during the winter. So let's get them out of there. Let's get the uh, terracotta and ceramic cleaned up, the pot itself, put them in the garage and wait until next season to pull that pretty pot out again. Um, so it, your plants can stay in any other container that you have, even if you have them in planted directly into concrete, which I do, you're gonna wanna uh, protect that concrete with Thompson's water sealer. Do that once a year because concrete will break down after about 25 years. So um, we are going to protect all of the planters that need to be protected. But if it is in a plastic uh, garden pot, any other decorative planter that you have that I haven't mentioned, it's going to be fine. But what we need to do is we need to now keep them warm during the winter. And when I say keep them warm during the winter, I mean we want to reduce the amount of shock from temperature changes. And how do I do that? So how I do that is I think about those penguins in the Antarctic. And so if you think about those pictures that we've all seen where they all huddle together into a circle to stay warm. And the penguin that needs the most protection, the coldest, is in the center. And over time, they all take turns moving from the outside and being subjected to the elements. And then they move back in to get warm. And it's just a constant movement. I'm not asking you to uh, move your pots all through the winter. That would be truly crazy. <laughs> I am crazy, but I'm not asking you to do that. What I'm asking you to do is embrace that method of everybody snuggling up with the plant or the penguin that needs the most protection in the center or the warmest spot. And so for me, I only care about the roses. I don't really care if, if a tree dies or uh, something else is planted. You know what, I'll, I'll get over it, but it's gonna be really heartbreaking if a rose doesn't make it through. So what I want you to do is after your roses have gone dormant, go ahead and let's start talking about cuddling them up just like those penguins. So I want you to put your most precious in the center of your designated area. Um, and then I want you to surround it tightly, push up all of your planters as close as possible with everybody else, all of your other planters. And um, with the largest planters being along the outside because that will provide the most insulation. After you've done that, I want you to get mulch bags and, and put them either horizontally or vertically. If you need more height, I put them up vertically and stack them all around then uh, your potted plants because that provides an additional layer of protection. Depending on where you're located and how cold it is, you may want that those insulation bags of mulch too deep. So you're the master rosarian in your garden. You'll have to decide how much protection your plants need. I would say you can't ever have too much. Um, but you're gonna wanna now go ahead and mulch off your potted plants to give them a little bit of mulch on top, um, but nothing else is gonna go on top. You wanna make sure that you don't have any plastic or anything else obstructing the pot's ability to be able to get rain and snow. And you're going to want to keep a, a little bit of an eye during the winter, even though you're not, out, not outside, watch and make sure that you are getting some kind of water to those potted plants 
if it hasn't snowed or rained for me in about two to three weeks i'm out there with my uh, water meter just taking a look at it because you just don't want them to get too dry watering them actually provides more insulation to me i'm thinking oh my gosh i'm going to freeze these these plants by adding water but it actually provides more insulation to the plant if they are watered so those are the things that we're going to want to do now let's talk about if you have the ability to put all of your plants up against a house i want to put a picture up here for you of how it looks in my little cozy area for my plants and i know it doesn't look pretty but it definitely gets the job done so i have a little cubby that is protected in between my garage and my house and so i'm utilizing that temperature and warmth that's coming off of the house during the winter and i'm putting all of my plants up against it with of course my rose being closest to the house as possible and then i'm stacking all of my other plants that i find around the yard that i haven't had a chance to put in the ground yet um, anybody else that i want to try to keep over and it goes into that section and then i take my 25 plus bags or so and i stack it up against uh, those plants another method that people use is just burlap on a pot and i have tried that and i I struggle with keeping the burlap there, even tying it tight. For whatever reason, it just kind of falls down. So I don't bother with burlap, although this is not as pretty to look at. It's a little bit of an eyesore having your mulch bags out. It definitely gets the job done. So I hope that this gives you another solution to be able to winterize your plants and take comfort that they'll make it through the winter and then you'll have those beautiful babies in the spring. But if you have something else that has worked for you, I'm sure that everybody would enjoy reading it. Please go ahead and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.